Hi everyone on YouTube, this is uh, Wet Goku here. I just want to show you some performance of my OCZ vector SSDs in RAID 0. And I also want to show you some performance benchmarks of my older OCZ um, Vertex 2 SSDs. Those are serial AT2. And a just a regular Western Digital 1 terabyte black uh, 7200 RPM hard drive, mechanical hard drive. And we're going to run some benchmarks of that and compare them all and to give it a real world scenario like a real case scenario what the average user is going to ha have is I decided to fill the SSDs and the hard drive with data you know like installed Battlefield 3, um, Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops 2 and some of my video editing programs Windows 7 and Windows updates on some of the SSDs um, so Usually the speeds will be a little bit slower than if you just ran a fresh drive and just benchmarked it, you know, without installing anything on it. And this really gives you a real case, real world scenario of what would happen when you fill your SSDs. The number one thing I noticed between the OCC Vertex 2 50 gigabyte SSDs in RAID 0 versus the 228 gigabyte OCZ Vector SSDs in RAID 0, the two of those, is when you fill the whole SSD up full of space the Vertex 2's would slow down because they're using the Sandforce controller so they can't handle you know all the data on there so the speed would start to slow down but with the vectors it doesn't matter how much data I could fill the whole SSD up and have you know hardly any free space and I notice a huge performance um, boost with still being fast I'm getting usually the speeds that I get uh, for benchmarking wise, I really like ATTO benchmark, benchmark, Addo benchmark, and uh, Crystal Disk Mark is pretty good for a real world scenario. You know, random reads and writes. Um, the number one thing you should probably look at is where it says 4K reads and writes and Crystal Disk Benchmark. That's usually your average of what you would get. You know, with data on the drive. Yep. Um, Pretty much installed, like I said, everything on there, Battlefield 3 and some of the other programs. The number one thing I noticed with the vectors is now I can finally record Battlefield 3 footage right to the SSDs and have Battlefield 3 on there. And Battlefield 3 loads faster on the OCC vector SSDs versus the, um, the OCZ Vertex 2 SSDs. The OCZ, OCZ Vertex 2 SSD and the one terabyte Western Digital Black, those both use serial ATA2 uh, interface, which is only three gigabyte three gigabytes per second uh, speed. Um, but the OCZ Vector is serial ATA3, and that's six gigabits per second speed. So you're getting a lot more bandwidth. And as you can see in some of the benchmarks that I'll show later on, is you're going to see like huge almost double the performance compared to the OCZ uh, Vertex 2's in RAID 0. And I think it's a, a valuable um, investment, you know, because I'm recording all these YouTube videos and now I can record it to the SSDs and it's a little bit smoother. And uh, it's definitely worth the money. Just a quick little information. Uh, the 128 gigabyte model of the OCZ Vector is a little bit slower than the 256 gigabyte model so if you if you can afford it try to get the OCC vector 100, 256 gigabyte model because as you can see in the benchmarks like Addo benchmark I'm getting something like um, 1006 megabits per second read and 780 megabits per second write with two 128 gigabyte OCZ vectors in RAID 0 but if I run that same test with two 256 gigabyte OCZ vectors in RAID 0. I'm um, usually from the benchmarks I've seen we're at least a thousand megabits per second read and a thousand megabits per second write. So it's not that mad. Um, usually if you have higher megabit per second write or read that's more important because you're going to be loading constant. You're going to be loading things in Windows. It's going to load a lot faster. Um, Windows 7 boot time with the OCZ vectors was a little bit faster I did notice I think with the two 50 gigabyte OCZ Vertex 2's and RAID 0 Windows 7 booted in like 25 or 27 seconds 
And now um, with the new OCC vectors, the 228 gigabytes in RAID 0, it only boots in like maybe 20 to 15 seconds, so 15 to 20 seconds. So it's extremely fast. Um, definitely well, uh, well worth the money. The Each OCC vector, uh, 128 gigabyte SSD was $150. So you add two of those, it's $300. But if you go back when I bought my... Um, OCC Vertex 2, the 50 gigabyte model, just the one OCC Vertex 2 50 gigabyte model was $180. So you add two of those and you're getting close to uh, almost $400 after tax, you know. So it, um, it's a set, it's $100 cheaper with the new SSDs and I'm starting to see SSD prices drop. So um, definitely recommend somebody getting the OCC Vector SSDs. The performance is right up there with the Samsung 840 Pro and even beats the Samsung 840 Pro in some tests. And uh, the Corsair Neutron GTX, it's right up there and it beats that too. Um, the thing that the megabits per second read and the megabits per second write might be a little bit slower than some SSDs in RAID 0, but the number one thing that makes these SSDs faster than most SSDs is when you have compressible data or you have something like um, you fill the whole SSD full of data and it's almost full on a regular SSD it will start to slow down but the vector will never slow down at all and I'm getting full speed um, some of these tests the only thing when you run multiple um, SSD benchmarks like Addo and Crystal Disk Mark and AS SSD benchmark when you keep running them over and over and over again um, the performance the SSD will start to slow down and that's kind of normal and some of these benchmarks if I didn't run any benchmarks before this the scores would be a lot higher so you just got to keep that in mind also I have a lot of data on here I have about 80 gigabyte on the OCZ vector SSDs 128 gigabytes in RAID 0 so um, yeah with all that space on there it's it starts to um, yeah, it starts to sl not slow down, but I mean, it's not as fast as it should be. Yeah, so I'm really, really impressed. Uh, definitely well worth the money. Um, I'm running them on the the Z68 motherboard chipset, the Intel chipset. So the two, three, gig two, six gigabit serial ATA3 um, ports on there. There's two of them, and that goes off the CPU, off the Intel Core i7-2600K. So yeah, like I said, the performance is crazy, and uh, I definitely re recommend it. I also wanted to say, if you take the two OCC Vector SSDs, the 128 gigabyte models, and you put them in RAID 0, that gives you 256 gigabytes of space. Same with if you took two of the uh, 50 gigabyte OCC Vertex 2 SSDs, they give you 100 gigabytes of space, but after you format it, um, you're only getting 93 point three gigabytes of space and with the two OCC vector 128 gigabyte SSDs in RAID 0 you're only getting 238 gigabytes of free space after you uh, format the whole hard drive or format the whole SSD so I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and uh, if you have any questions computer related questions you can always send me a, a PM message via YouTube you know I try to help you guys out and I just want to say thank you so much for watching my videos and clicking the like button. You know, it means a lot to me. And I hope you guys enjoy some of the content. I just want to show some performance benchmarks here because you guys, some of you guys were sending me messages wondering what the performance was on the OCZ Vector SSDs. And I just wanted to compare them. So uh, thank you for watching.